again it's your girl ashley if you don't know then i just introduced myself don't be rude introduce yourself down below please like comment and subscribe what is that oh my god gosh y'all it was a piece of lint rude okay and i think it came from this but anyway as y'all can see i have one of these on my head today so you already know when you see one of these what are we doing makeup okay yes that's what we're doing today and um because i haven't actually put a video on beauty in a while so today i want to do a beauty video since i am going to do my makeup while as i had out okay so let's get into it and don't forget to like comment subscribe and push that notification bell so when every time i upload <laughs> you get that ring-a-ding-ding -ding, okay <laughs> Let's go into it. Go into it. What? Y'all. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, y'all. So, I've already washed and, like, washed my face. I've already moisturized my face. Um, So, we already prepped and ready for our makeup. And I just want to show y'all, like, how I like to do my makeup. Because not everybody is the same. So, let's remember that. Let's not compare each other to you know the next because i ain't trying to look like next i'm trying to look like me because that's the only person i can't look like right <laughs> exactly so i'm gonna get my brush y'all and i got me some that what are you oh here they come so i got me some napkins because you know i'm gonna get like that we using napkins and what the napkins for so i can mix my makeup because i still mix my makeup y'all because i just feel like the color don't be where i want it to be so i'm gonna do what I, it takes to get the color to where i want it to be see i got this ceiling fan on and then i got this fan blowing directly on me y'all i'm doing too much i got the air on uh, baby i'm too high what's the what i look okay i had turned off one of these fans because honey no but i gotta at least have one of these on you feel me if you be hot then you know what i'm talking about you know what it is so i got my brushes for everything you know what i'm saying i don't really do much with my eyebrows y'all i just brush them things up that's it i just don't like them to look smushed together and crazy you see how they look crazy Baby, that look crazy. Mm-hmm. And I just do a little swoopty. Because I don't want mine to look perfect. I just want them to look natural. Like a natural... Anyway, y'all, I look tired as I am. These bags. Like, if you know any remedies or you know what I can use to get rid of these bags because I do so much work in that... I just be looking tired. Show me how, or you know, comment down below what I can do to get rid of these bags because a girl ain't even that old. Your girl ain't that old. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, I prefer to do my lashes first, y'all. So I usually curl my lash. I do like to curl it first because my lashes, for some reason, they like to point downwards. They ugly, bro. They ugly. They be acting ugly. They be looking ugly. And I don't be liking them things sometimes. Because what are you doing? Like, you going to whoop and I want you to go do. Like, what the heck? See that? Okay, yeah. That was hard. But, yeah. I, <laughs> I got it a little bit. So, I always curl it first before I go ahead with the mascara. And, yes, I'm going to be reaching down because all of my stuff is pretty much on the flow. I did not put everything in front of me because it's just too much stuff that we be using. Let's be real. So, I don't want all this stuff just sitting up on here. Kind of in the way. You know what I'm saying? So, here's my mascara. And I like to, you know how you got to beat it a little bit. And it's been a while since I used it. So I definitely need to do a little bow, 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 bow. Okay. I feel like it's good enough now. Let's get let's get to the next step. Like for real. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoo. Y'all. That was itching. I 
I don't like that. That's looking. That's looking a little dry. Y'all think I should go get a new one? After this, after this video? Cause I ain't going now. I'm just being real. We're gonna make it work. But uh, just in case anybody wanna know what I'm using, it is the Mega Lint Wet and Wild. I've been using Wet and Wild for years. I don't know if I can get that to show. Y'all see it a little bit. And that's what matters, right? So this is how it looks as I put it on. You know what I'm saying? And I like how it forms that lint for you on your natural lashes. Like, that's cute. But I feel like something is, like, in my eye right now. You see how it's watering up? Like, <laughs> come on. But, yes, I do that on that eye. And then I, honestly, I let it dry a little bit. Because I don't like how that sticky residue from the uh, mascara liquid, I guess we'll say, be getting on my eye eyelash curler. I don't like that. So, since... I got it. my bad, y'all. And I'm actually using the camera right now as my mirror, but I do have a mirror over here. Like, let me look. And my eye, I got it. Thank goodness for that. But I do need, um, like a little, you know, I use a little piece of tissue or a paper towel to get that liquid out of your eye. That's what I gotta do real quick, y'all. So hold up, let me do that off camera. <laughs> like, okay. Okay, y'all see how glossy my eyes looking? Because they watering up. I got the silicone on. As you can see, it's going dumb. Okay, so let's curl these lashes. Y'all, this little fuzz is everywhere. Look at it. <laughs> so Y'all can see a little better without that glare. But these are too cute. I have no freaking idea what kind they are. So please do not ask. I bought these so long ago, probably about two years ago, and I haven't used them. I haven't worn lashes in about two years. Like, no cap. Like, dead serious. I haven't worn any lashes. And I need to cut this cone. Y'all know how some of these cones be like sticking you all up in your eyeball. So hold on. All right, y'all. So I got the lashes on. And I do feel like this one is not like this one. Am I tripping? Just a quick little, y'all, so y'all can see if I'm tripping or not. Because I think I'm tripping. But anyway, next up. Okay, booze and bays. That might be what I start calling y'all because I just came up with it. But first things first is my little silver trap. And if you say anything about being all in my nostril, say what you gotta say, but you can't say no boogs in there. Okay. No, it's clean. Now, I like to go in with my concealer. I uh, prefer to use the concealer instead of like, you know, using so much stuff on my face, I like to use my concealer. And the color that I use in concealer, just in case anybody wanna know if they're like my same skin color, what did I be showing the color eat? Cause I wanna say it's toffee, y'all, hold up. I was right, it's toffee. Okay, so toffee, if you my color, <laughs> toffee days. Okay, so I like to get right here because y'all know I got these dark spots because I've been working since I was 18, y'all. I'll be tired. <laughs> so I like to get in there and I go up on the side of my eye because I have like a slant to my eye. So I prefer a slant there. And yes, I use the concealer like literally everywhere. So I go on the sides of my nose. <laughs> y'all, hold on, I gotta find the dang on the thing because I, I blend everything with these, but I don't want to do these. I can't find my blender ball, so we're doing hands today. And then we're gonna blend it completely with the uh, brush, you already know. But just so you can get a gist of like what I be doing, and you'll understand why I like to lighten up over my lip, because I feel like sometimes the upper lip be dark, and I don't want that. I don't want my stuff looking dark. I want it real light right though, because ain't no chin hairs, and ain't no, uh, no goatees, ain't no uh, mustaches, like, you know, no uh, offense to the women that have mustaches, but you know, the good Lord bless me not to have all that extra enzymes. So I don't wanna, I wanna make sure it looks good. But y'all see how I blend it? Well, it looks crazy as heck. But yes, we like the lighting first. And then sometimes I add here to my liking. So be right back. Y'all, I'm going in with the bronzer. This is my first time ever using bronzer. So do not talk about me. If you do, I don't even care. So we're gonna put some there. Put that on my forehead. Oh, and then, is it right here, y'all? No! No! Yes. No! Just trying to make sure it's dark, but not too dark. And, um, where else? Like, right here? Because y'all be having me loud. That's it. That's all I'm doing, because I don't know what I'm doing with the bronzer. I don't never use the bronzer. Okay? So let's just... Let's just mix it in. Right? So, 
Um, and I've had this foundation forever, so it's probably time to get some new. But I got the True Match, L'Oreal Paris, and the color... It's like cool, so I guess uh, the number C6. C6, y'all. That's my color. That's the color I use to mix with this other color I'm about to show you. But first, I just want to put a little bit, because literally, I only use a little bit. That's why I last so long. I don't put a whole bunch of stuff on my face, a whole bunch of foundation on my face. And then the next... I'm going to get shaky because it's been at least a couple months. This is CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. Um, I don't know what color this is. Let me see real quick. D15. CoverGirl. So, yes, I mix CoverGirl and True Match together, L'Oreal. And I get the color that I desire for my face. So, I have them. You know, one is just slightly... Um, darker than the other. That's it. That's the only difference. I'm going for <laughs> and let's just remind ourselves of that throwback video from way back when, when I first started y'all and I did my own makeup y'all know that didn't come out good so just remember I ain't an expert I'm still learning as I go and every time I do learn a little something then boom here we go with a new technique so yeah okay and since I blend everything with this of course I'm gonna blend this also with the brush I do a little dab I do a little swipe just to help it cover. I prefer to dab first and then swipe across to the, you know, the outer part of the eye. Because you don't want nothing in the uh, crease of your eye. That is just heckly annoying. And I was trying, I'm trying not to cuss, y'all. I'm trying my best not to cuss. Even though I know we gonna cuss sometimes here. Okay, so. Now that I got that on there, this is the color that I'm about to go for. Y'all probably gonna be able to see. But this is the color we're going for. And I just had that brush. And here it is. So, honestly, I want to go in the corners with something a little darker. So, let me just, I'm going to get a little dark brown. And we're going to do a little dusty side. I call it a dusty look. I don't know why, but a smoky brown. Smoky brown. So just in that corner, like that. Mm -hmm. That's how I like to do it. And then hold on, I feel like something's in my eye again. Just shaking because we ain't got time for that now. I got stuff on my eye at this point. Dang, is it something in my eye? Okay. Then, because I'm doing a very simple look, y'all. Sometimes you got to play in the makeup just to make it come loose, but... Man, I'm just alright, y'all. This is what I'm doing with the eyes. Now let's go back to what I was about to do, which was the highlighter on these brows that we are not doing. I'm not doing my brows, so we're just gonna highlight them, okay? Because who says I can't? Who says I gotta put on? You know, the I don't know. I haven't seen mascara. I haven't seen um, people draw it on. I don't know, I ain't doing all that. I'm not. I used to, at one point, when it first became, became like this big trend, I started trying it. And I was just like, what the heck are we doing this for? And so I stopped doing it because I just prefer my natural, uh, my natural eyebrows. So that's what I'm gonna have with my fake eyelashes. Period. So now that I done put just a little bit of shimmer, just a little bit of highlight to make the face start to frame a little bit, let's get into this blush. And y'all already know I am going to put the finishing touches, but I put the blush first. So just be patient. Yeah. All 
Okay, this is the blush that I use, and I like to mix both of them, unless I'm going for a really, really soft look, but usually um, I mix both of them. And when I say going for a soft look, I just mean like when you have that powder puff pink on your face, because it's just super cute, and I feel like it does complement the melanin in my skin. Okay, but today we're going to do a little bit of more of like a... Um, I don't know, the regular blush look, like the regular blush color, where it's more reddish than pink, okay? So, I like to get on my cheeks first. You see that little color there? And I'm a smiler, so I prefer to smile. And I just go back and forth from both of the colors. Gradually put it on. And I like it to be a little more blushy. So, yes, I go all up in here. But I don't overdo when I get under my eyes. You feel me? Just right there. Perfect. Like. You see that? You see that? You see that? And if you don't see that, open your eyes. That's cute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's cute, girl. Okay, anyway, because I'm starting to feel myself a little bit. Yeah, I am. And so what? Now, let me go ahead and put on my spicy. And what is my spicy? The spicy is what I use to highlight my nose. And sometimes I'll put, um, like, something that's close to the spicy color on my cheeks. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But, I have a certain brush that I use just for my nose. Let me see if I can find y'all because I know it ain't for the nose, but I use it for the nose anyway. I think it's actually for the corner of my eyes, which I was going to do next. Here it is. So, and my nose itching too. Yep, Smoky Eye Liner Brush. So, first, let's go with our low key. Low key is that translucent. It's like a translucent color, more on the white, but also translucent to a point where it got like this. Y'all know what translucent is, man. We ain't about to do all it. So, we're going to put that in the corner of my eye. And I just like to dab because I don't want to do too much. And yes, I'm going to use my brush to mix it up. I'm trying not to like go completely out the camera, but I want to see what I'm doing, y'all. Yeah, that is too cute. And yeah, it got that translucent look to it so what i do is i like to kind of work it in to the eye without working it into the eye but yeah let's go around the eye and this is what i come up with let me check make sure i ain't get it in my eye y'all did i get it in my eye i don't know okay 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 i didn't but it is making my eyes water again but Hey, at least I'm cute. So, I like to wipe down this first. So, I can use it again. And now, we're going to go on with the spicy. And we put that on my nose. And I like to just, like, I like a little circle. I literally put a little circle. And then, I use my big brush, my mixing brush, and just like that. Just a little bit. Just to spread it out. I don't want my blush to mess up that golden look. So, I'm going to use my finger a little bit. Because, as y'all know, I didn't just clean this off. So, let me wipe it down real quick like I do the other brush. Okay, so now I got that little, you know then That. Then, I still like to put it like a little bit over my lip here. And this is why I uh, usually put that, um, that thing right there, the uh, concealer. I'm not thinking y'all. I couldn't even think of the name. But yeah, I like to make it a little golden right here. And then I put a lot because I'm going to put some finishing on top. The finishing powder, I do use that. So <laughs> I put a lot. So don't be on me about like if, I'm, if I look like I'm caking it because I need this to come through. Okay. Okay. So now that I did all that. And remember, we're just going for a soft, regular look. So literally, this is all I'm putting on my face. I'm not doing the most. And we're going to go in with some pressed powder. And it's, it's just translucent powder. And what's so cute about it is the little case, it do come with like a little pad for you. It comes with the little, you know, the mirror. But I'm not going to pat this on my face. I'm going to use my brush because it's faster. I do a little swish. Tap. Tap it up. Tap, tap, tap. And then I just go over my whole face. And what is funny about this. Oh, crap, y'all. It's starting to break. It's time to get another one. But what's so funny about this is. When I, my bad, <laughs> when I started first using this, like when my aunt told me about the pressed powder, I was like, I'm going to mess this up. This is not about to be cute. And I'm going to be looking like somebody's grandma and all that. But honestly, it is 
so good to use because like it kind of ties in everything you know you see that where when you're going for that natural look it ties in everything okay so i'm gonna close that that's all i'm putting on there and i do feel like i should put like some type of contour here so i can have because y'all be having like this contour oh, perfect teach me how to contour free teach me how to contour you're supposed to be teaching me and don't be no fake friend be talking about me behind my back because i'm gonna hear about it so i'm not gonna tell you so no no i'm about to put some here i'm about to put some here because i want that less round face y'all my face is looking rounded let's fix that so let's see if this comes out good or bad right okay because now i'm doing too much No! 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 I just feel like it ain't it ain't doing what it's supposed to do. Is it mixing y'all? Because I feel like it ain't. I feel like it ain't mixing. And anytime I feel like I'm messing my face, I put some more uh I put some more makeup right there, baby. Don't do that. You see that? It look like it's a whole red spot on my face. <laughs> you know? So, uh, we just gonna, uh, uh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, y'all. That's a little better. Maybe y'all can see the real. I don't know. So, comment down below to tell me what I'm missing, what am I messing up? Because this is a learning thing for me, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. So now I'm gonna press, I'm gonna press. Now I'm gonna spray on my setting spray, okay? Let's do this. All right, so I had to get that dry, you know, vibes. All right. So y'all, what do y'all think? This is the final look. And no, I did not do hair with this. I just wanted to do makeup. If y'all want me to do my hair next time, please let me know. So that I can do that for y'all. So for the lips, um, I'm keeping it simple. I'm gonna put on some cracks. Um, and sometimes when I do my natural look, I prefer to do a dark brown. Um, this is one of my favorites that I have. And I just, I put it in the middle. And literally, this is all it takes for this look with this, with this lip gloss. This lip gloss is great. So, how do I do this time, y'all? Because last time I messed it up really bad. And I just want to know, have I gotten any better? I kind of want to experiment and put... I don't think this red, y'all. I think this is more of a burgundy. I'm trying to put like a slight red stain to the lip to kind of give off a pinkish tint. Now, y'all know I got them brass doll lips, so don't be talking about how big my lips looking because... That's what God gave me. Okay, so I want a true opinion on what you think about my hair. Do not talk about my baby because I did not make it for this video. But I wanted to review on um, what y'all think about how I did today. This is the final look. my video please like comment and subscribe don't forget to click that notification bell so that you can get every notification from every post that i make and become a part of my new youtube family okay y'all and we still gonna pick a name for y'all don't worry about that but we on the road to 500 subscribers so thank you so much for watching love you guys Mwah. bye